In this video, I will be showing you how to save MP3 files in Audacity using the LAME encoder. When you first install Audacity, there's no direct way to save an MP3 file. This is because MP3s are encoded with the LAME encoder, which is a separate piece of software. However, it is designed to work with Audacity, so that's what I'll be demonstrating. If you're not familiar with what an MP3 is, Basically, it's a lossy form of compression, which means the file size will be smaller than an uncompressed file, but you'll lose some small details of the audio. However, it's almost impossible to tell the difference between a high-quality MP3 and an uncompressed file. And MP3s are quite popular now, so you shouldn't worry about quality too much. If I try and save a file in Audacity without the MP3 encoder, go File, Export, and name it whatever I want, and then this here is set to mp3 if I click save it will say it needs to locate lame and it will not be able to save the file here are the instructions from the audacity manual on how to add lame it's for Windows Mac and Linux basically you just go to this download page same one for all three and be careful now because there's a bunch of ads all over this page this is the correct exe for Windows this one is the current one for Mac, and I believe this one is for some Linux versions. Just download the file, and you'll need to install it like a regular program. It's quite fast. Now I'll just run this. Now you click Next, and Next. Now this is where it's going to install on your computer. It'll be different depending on your operating system, but it should be, say something like lame for audacity. And next, and then you install it, and it has finished. Now I'll reopen audacity. If you had audacity open while you installed this, you'll have to restart audacity. Now the way to check if you can save mp3s is go to edit, and preferences, and you see this mp3 export library, it says lame version 3.9.3. .3. If you do not see any number here, and it says something like cannot be found, you need to click the locate button, and then you're looking for a DLL file on Windows, and you'd need to go into your program files, lame for audacity, and locate this file. Then just click open, and OK, and this should change. The instructions I showed earlier tell you exactly what file you're looking for on each operating system. And so now, if I quickly generate some DMF tones, and then go File Export, I can save it as an MP3. And the options, here's the real quality part. 128 is called standard quality, but I usually prefer 192. You can go all the way to 320. But as I mentioned before, it's really hard to tell the difference between uncompressed and compressed files, let alone different versions of MP3s themselves. You can, however, if you put it all the way down to like 8 kilobytes per second, you can definitely hear a difference in quality. And I usually keep the bitrate mode at constant and want this stereo. Now if I click save, I have an MP3 file. And to verify that, here's my little sample .mp3.